Um, hello everyone, I'm Chan Zhangli. Uh, today I'm very happy to introduce our recent work, Thing is Living, Rethinking the Security of Facial Livelihoods Verification in the Deepfake Era. Facial livelihoods ver verification has been become more and more popular in our daily life, especially for some security sensitive applications like uh, banking and cryptocurrency exchanges. They use they require the uh, KYC policy uh, to verify the user's identity. Uh, only the, those users that pass the KYC verification can conduct the transactions. Um, as, as facial navigation verification becomes more and more popular, uh, many cloud vendors began to uh, provide it as a service. According to the requirement, facial navigation verification can be divided into four groups. Uh, the first one is uh, image-based uh, facial navigation verification. Uh, it just requires a static image to verify the user's identity. Uh, second is um, um, uh, Silence-based uh, facial navigation verification. It uh, requires the user's facial video and uh, uh, doesn't require any other requirements. And the third one is voice-based facial navigation verification. It requires the user speaking given digits. And the last one is uh, action-based uh, navigation verification. It requires the user uh, uh, doing some actions like uh, closing your eyes. Uh, open your mouth and so on. So this is a uh, facial navigation verification. Mm, generally, the facial navigation verification pipeline uh, can be divided into uh, three steps. The first step is uh, the user interacts with the, the apps. These apps are provided by uh, banking, government, and uh, other uh, sensitive uh, departments. Uh, the second step is these apps will uh, capture the user's facial images or videos. And then uh, these apps will call the API with these captured uh, videos or images. And uh, these apps can verify the user's identity based on the response returned by the API. Another topic related to our work is uh, deepfake. Deepfake has raised a great interest in recent years, uh, especially with uh, uh, some free apps uh, available, available in some um, app stores uh, like Zoll and Reface. People can easily create, create fake videos very easy um, without requiring any expertise. Uh, so DeepFake uh, uh, also increase a great, uh, cause a great threat to uh, cybersecurity and the society. Uh, for example, recent news reported is that uh, uh, some adversaries use deepfake to uh, create a person that doesn't exist and uh, then use that identity to get uh, tech jobs. You, you know, due to the COVID-19, many tech companies, uh, companies uh, provide uh, uh, the uh, worker, from, worker from home options. So uh, some adversaries may use deepfake to get multiple jobs at the same time. And there are other uh, there, 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 are, uh, there are also some other risks caused by deepfake, like the uh, text scam and uh, uh, porn videos. So it is a great threat to our society. So a direct, direct research question is, how is uh, facial navigation verification vulnerable to uh, deepfake-based attacks? Can we use deepfake to bypass facial navigation verification? This is our motivation. Uh, uh, to answer this question, we design and uh, implement NeveBugger. This is a framework that integrates various sort of deepfake techniques for evaluating the security of uh, facial navigation verification systems. Since the since, uh, API is the source of the supply chain, so we mainly focus on uh, facial navigation verification API. Uh, since it, it, it's, uh, it's security risks will threaten uh, many downstream Mm, applications. This framework uh, consists, of, consists of three parts. The first is in, intelligence engine. It mainly used to collect the information of the uh, target platform, uh, and then we can construct a superset of the uh, mm, APIs. Um, then it facilitates a configuration-based uh, evaluation, give a specific uh, configuration, like the target person, target API, and some other features, like the digit lens. We can um, 
use the deep fake engine to synthesize a um, realistic uh, video. And then an analysis engine will fit the um, created uh, fake videos to the APIs and uh, it can analyze the robustness of the target uh, system uh, by some custom, customers' tricks, metrics. According to our evaluation, um, all types of official navigation verification are vulnerable to uh, deepfake-based attacks. We can achieve, achieve up to 60% e uh, overall evasion rate. And, uh, and also, we find that anti-deepfake should be uh, further improved. Um, even though some vendors, even though some vendors claim that uh, they have deployed the uh, anti-deepfake detection, but we uh, find this, uh, their detections is problematic. Um, some, some videos with very obvious artifacts can also bypass the official navigation verification. Um, uh, we then uh, select some applications that uh, use these APIs uh, uh, to illustrate the uh, real world threat. We conduct a, a POC a, attack to to, we first hijacked the video stream, and then we synthesize the fake videos in a, in a real-time manner. Then we can fit the fake video stream into the target application. Uh, we find that we can um, bypass the, most of the applications. <laughs> Based on our um, observations and evaluations, uh, we provide some security insights. Uh, the first one is anti fake detection. Uh, it's necessary for facial navigation uh, verification systems. Um, the second one is voice-based facial navigation verification should consider the match of lip, lip movements with the audio single uh, or even voice print to improve the security. According to our evaluation, we find one of the vendors uh, only uh, detects the audio single uh, uh, separately. Uh, this means you just need to import a uh, audio signal, and you can bypass the uh, the API. <laughs> the third one is uh, adopt actions that are hard to be synthesized by deepfake. Uh, we find that some actions may be uh, may, may cause very uh, obvious artifacts uh, in the create in the fake videos, like if you move move your head. Uh, uh, left or right uh, 90 degrees. So when they, uh, in, the, in these scenarios, the fake may be hard to synthesize the uh, realistic videos. So it maybe can be helpful for, for detecting the fake videos. And the last one is increased di diversity of actions or voice prompts. prompts. This can greatly increase the cost of adversary to create fake videos by uh, the fake. Uh, we have reported our findings to the affected vendors and received uh, active feedback. Uh, uh, one of the vendors even claimed uh, that they have joined a defect detection program to uh, mitigate such attacks. Uh, they, all of them admitted that uh, uh, it is still a challenge problem to solve this, so uh, we think uh, uh, this deserve, deserves more future research. In conclusion, uh, we design and implement uh, new bugger. Uh, this is the first of its kind uh, uh, framework for evaluating the sec security of official navigation verification systems by deep fakes. Uh, uh, we use this framework to conduct uh, extensive evaluation and uh, find that most uh, official navigation verification systems are vulnerable to deep fake based attacks. And then we perform POC attacks in a real world setting and provide some uh, interest insights to improve the security of facial navigation verification. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm ready for questions.